I made some cards for the families in our co-op. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of them. I like it. Up a little higher. Cool. I like this one. Is it a dolphin and an octopus with a present? Yep. This one's just covered in snowflakes. Mm -hmm. Now this one I like. This one's fun. <laughs> that one's silly. And on the inside it says, but I have no idea what. Mm -hmm. Santa's sleigh. And on the inside it says, Golly gee, whoop de doo. Hope you have a crazy Christmas. Goodness me. Don't we have one? This one. I like how Elliot used the spare leftover parts of the foam stickers to create a tree. Great. That's it. Hello. So I haven't really put much in the videos for the past couple of days. I haven't um, published yesterday's yet, and I'm still working on today's, but um, not much has been going on. <laughs> My older son has been pretty sick with a fever the past couple of days, so we're not really doing much of anything besides just sticking around the house and resting a lot. So, um, there hasn't really been as much to post. Um, he's, he missed his last nature class of the fall session today, which he was really bummed about. But um, we did make some Christmas cards that he dropped off at the end of class um, just because he, he really wanted to give his teachers... The cards that he made and he didn't want it to wait until January because it feels a little weird to give somebody a holiday card after the holidays are over. So we did drop those off and we have our homeschool co-op tomorrow but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to go to that either. But again we have cards to drop off and all of the kids did a secret Santa so we need to go to just to drop off gifts. Um, but otherwise we might just be staying home and watching a lot of movies. And so that means that I might get a lot of knitting in the next couple days. We'll see. I've been a little bit tired myself. I don't know whether I'm sick also, or it might just be, I get a lot of fatigue with my autoimmune issues anyway. And so it might just be that, or I might be sick. I'm not sure which one. It's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> But I think I'm going to go downstairs and watch a movie with my eight-year-old now while my older son is just resting in bed because his fever shot up to about 103 while we were out. So he needs some good rest. Um, I don't think I'm going to do much else today. My husband, again, is going to bring sushi home for dinner. So that will be delicious with uh, not much effort. I did just want to show one more um, a bit of wooly goodness though. I had been thinking about which sweater I wanted to make before the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. And I thought I had decided on Starfall by Jennifer Steingass. And so I ordered these yarns from Blacker Yarns uh, with the with this as the main colors and then these for the accents. But I was thinking about it more and more and I haven't really done very much Fair Isle 
or, or stranded color work at all. And so um, I was a little nervous about making this one of my first big projects because it has some sections in it where you use three colors at the same time. And I don't know if I am quite ready for that. I only I don't knit continental. I only really knit English style, though I've learned continental. I just need to practice. Um, and so and I also don't even use um, wrap the yarn around my fingers for tension because uh, it makes my arthritis hurt a little bit more when I do it that way. So. I'm not sure if I, I if I'm up to doing three colors yet. It might just get too confusing and too messy. So then I was thinking about it more, and um, I looked at I looked through Jennifer Steingast's patterns because I really like her color work, and I found another DK weight pattern that I really liked, um, which is arboreal. And so I decided to buy yarn to make that instead because I thought. I thought that would work out better to finish before March. Um, but I was also thinking about uh, what kind of yarn I might like to use. And uh, my cord keeps getting in the way. There. Um, so I was thinking about what yarn I might like to use. And I live in California. It doesn't really get that cold here. It barely ever snows. It sometimes snows because we live up in the mountains, so that's more than a lot of California, but it barely ever snows here either. So I was thinking, um, I was looking through Blacker's other yarns because I really wanted to try some more of their yarn. And so I found their Lioness, I think that's how you say it, Lioness um, yarn, which is a linen blend. Let's see. What is it? Yeah, it's 50% Falklands wool, 50% linen, which it might not be warm enough for Edinburgh, but it will be warm enough for me here. And so I decided I would rather have something that I can wear more often. So I'm going to make it in this and uh, just bundle up a lot at Edinburgh. Um, so I, I waffled a little bit on which colors to order but I finally decided that I was going to use this, um, this bluish gray called hematite for the main color, and then the undyed moonstone for the accent color. I think those will make a really pretty sweater. And uh, my yarn should be arriving hopefully this week. Actually, I think it's at the post office already. Uh, but I need to go pick it up because it wouldn't fit in our mailbox. So that will be another project that hopefully I'm going to cast on soon. I was looking through these these pretty color. I was looking through these colors for a while trying to decide, and I ended up going with these two colors just because I wanted something that was a little bit more neutral. I've been knitting a lot of very colorful. Um, mostly shawls, but a couple of sweaters that I knit were also pretty colorful. And I'm thinking like, I want to pare down what um, I have in my wardrobe so that I have fewer, but better quality and um, more natural, earth healthy wardrobe choices. And so uh, I decided to go with this neutral because it would probably be able to work well with more outfits. Um, I don't necessarily want to have a small capsule wardrobe because I do like bright colors in the clothes that I wear. But uh, I think for this sweater, I decided to go with this. I was thinking about the purple for a while, which would be really pretty and I love purple, but I would probably, it would probably not go with as many things in my wardrobe. So I decided not for now, but uh, this green is really pretty too. But that's what I've decided for this sweater, and uh, we'll see. If I like working with this yarn, maybe I will get another color in the future. 